in the author Virgin Abel. So, a haunted house is a story that is not necessarily a ghost story, but it is a beautiful story rather than a scary story. So, this story talks about the four characters, which are uh, the four characters. Uh, those are the ghost couple and the living couple. The ghost couple uh, recently died and went back to the house to find the treasure. The literary elements used by the author in the story A Haunted House is repetition of keywords and meaning uh, uh, Literary devices and elements are very important in the story because it will make the story a successful story and it will also create a sense of mystery in the story. So next one is the figurative language. There are two figurative language are present in the story A Haunted House and those are alliteration and anapora. Alliteration, it is the series of words that has a uh, the same consonant sounds. For example, um, wandering through the house, opening the window, whispering, not to me. So those uh, words, wandering, window, and whispering, are used to be an alliteration because they have the same uh, consonant sounds. And the next part is the anapora. Anapora, it is the repetition of the first part of the sentences. For example, reflected apples, reflected roses. The word reflected is the figurative language anapora. So, let's go to the characters. They, we have only uh, four characters, the couple ghost and the living couple. So, the couple ghost, uh, they are the uh, former occupant of the house and they decided to went back in the house to find the treasure. And the living couple, they are the uh, recently or the current uh, occupant of the house. Uh, the, the characters or the characterization, it is the process of the author that will give a uh, meaning to the story and it seems to be the real uh, purpose of the characters in the story. So, the author was there and the living couple, uh, they give an uh, impact and they give uh, importance in the story because they have an action in the story to make the reader uh, understand and gets the meaning of the story. The next one is the plot. That is also called as the summary of the story. Uh, the plot of the haunted house it begins with the with the ghost father, the the, uh, the women ghost there is uh, died and his husband uh, decided to travel. Then, while he is in the uh, in the tour, the ghost uh, the ghost man there died. And when they uh, met each other, they uh, decided to went back to the house to find the treasure. Then, the living couple there is the recent uh, occupant of the, of the house then they are although they don't uh, disturb when the most popular but they are they hear noises of the opening of the windows and the doors because these most popular are busy in searching for the treasure so the setting it is the place where the action takes place so, the action takes place in a coastal region of southeastern England in the late 19th century and early 20th century. So, the point of view of a haunted house is the first person point of view. 
So the goal of this story is playful and light-hearted because even the readers believe that the story is a ghost story but they realize that uh, the ghost couple post no harm to the living couple living in the haunted house. So the theme of the story is love because um, the because it is about um, the searching for the treasure, which is this treasure is the love because um, uh, before the ghost couple died, um, they spent some moments, happy moments and happy memories in the heaven and uh, in their house. So when when they died, they go back to the house to find this treasure. And this treasure is about searching for their love. It is not the physical of uh, jewelry, gold or, or silver, but this treasure they find they want to find is the the treasure of love they left in the house.